The secret's out, and it's going to change how you see everything. Section 1. The Declaration That Changed Everything On April 19, 2024, a group of leading scientists and thinkers gathered at NYU to release a document that marks a huge turning point, the New York Declaration on Animal Consciousness. This wasn't some hesitant proposal. It was a confident consensus statement built on decades of evidence. The Declaration makes a few critical points. First, it says there is strong scientific support for conscious experience in all mammals and birds. That alone is a big deal, moving the whole conversation from a debate into the realm of accepted science. But the next part is what really shatters the old way of thinking. The Declaration states there's a realistic possibility of conscious experience in all vertebrates. We're talking reptiles, amphibians, and fish, and even many invertebrates, like octopuses, crabs, lobsters, and insects. This is a massive expansion of who we consider to be conscious. To be clear, they're not talking about deep, human-like thoughts. They mean something more fundamental, what philosophers call phenomenal consciousness or sentience, the basic capacity to have subjective experiences. This is the raw feeling of being alive, the sting of pain, the warmth of the sun, a pang of hunger, or a jolt of fear. This builds on an earlier statement from 2012, the Cambridge Declaration on Consciousness, which first officially said, humans aren't special in having the hardware for consciousness. But this New York Declaration goes way further, pulling in entire classes of animals, like insects, that we use to dismiss as biological robots. The message is crystal clear. The evidence is now so strong that it is, in the Declaration's own words, irresponsible to ignore that possibility in decisions affecting that animal. We now have a moral obligation to consider that the creatures we share this planet with have inner lives. Section 2. The Problem of Other Minds